For those of you who do not follow me over on my Instagram page, about once a week we do a fun find video on my stories. Here's a compilation of about three and a half minutes of those fun finds around Walt Disney World. Enjoy! The cantina at Star Wars Launch Bay has a lot of really cool details, but have you seen the Lost and Found? The sign up here reads Lost and Found, and if you look over here, you can find items like C-3PO's arm, Luke's binoculars from A New Hope, and the thing that Obi-Wan Kenobi scares the sand people away with. So Fantasy Fair, the gift shop of the Exit of Full Magic, seems to be a pretty basic shop. However, there are some fun finds here. While Mickey and Donald steal the show of the decorations in the interior, if you look at the musical notes that go around, it actually plays the Sorcerer's Apprentice song, if you played it on a piano, or a violin, or a kazoo, any instrument, any really. Future World West and Future World East are two very different concepts. While Future World West focuses more on natural science, Future World East focuses more on concrete scientific methods. Which is why the planters in Future World West flow, kind of like the rolling hills or the waves of the ocean or the imagination of a child. The planters in Future World East come to exact points because like the scientific methods that they explore here, there is a specific starting and ending point. The gift shops in Walt Disney World are extremely well themed. Let's take a look at one. Inside the Discovery Trading Company, guests can find four totem poles that all have different types of animals on them. The animals found here can only be found in the Eastern Hemisphere, while the ones here can only be found in the Southern Hemisphere, which would naturally make the ones here found only in the Western Hemisphere, and the ones over here only in the Northern Hemisphere. By Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is one of the most immersive areas that Disney's ever created, and for a Star Wars fan like me, there's a few really cool hidden details. Let's go talk about the trash. If you translate the Arabesh on the trash cans, it says trash to sector 3263827, which is the same trash section that Han Solo, Leia, Chewbacca, and Luke Skywalker were in in A New Hope. As we've discussed several times before, Disney loves to hide little references to previous attractions around the park. Galaxy's Edge is no exception. Galaxy's Edge replaced Lights, Motors, Action, and if you look right here, the three letters in Arabash are L-M-A for Lights, Motors, Action, while well, the little sign right here is the old speedometer that used to be on the sign for Lights, Motors, Action. The Millennium Falcon is pretty much the starting attraction here at Galaxy's Edge, which is appropriate because there's some hidden Millennium Falcons throughout the land. When you go underneath the hull of the actual cockpit, you can actually find a small little Millennium Falcon hiding underneath. There's actually 35 pounds throughout the entire land. I've only found two so far though, so future fun finds. If you enjoyed those fun finds and you want to learn more about some of the fun finds around the Walt Disney World Resort, specifically over at Frontierland, make sure you go check out my brand new book, A Closer Look at the Magic Kingdom's Frontierland. How to order is down in the comments below.